Good day, everybody. Good day, good day, good day. Welcome back to the studio. Here we go. I've got an old little piece, 20 by 20 centimeters, and uh, it's an old canvas piece that I did probably years ago. I don't like it, so I figured, you know, I'm trying to <laughs> preserve. Like, don't get me wrong, I love working on a nice clean board and a nice clean canvas, but you know, I'm thinking. I don't sell my art, not unlike some of you guys who are really good at selling your art, which is great. So I figured, you know, I might just make some of the ones that I've kind of mucked up and make them looking nice and pretty and just do something with them. So anyway, I mixed up a little bit of, uh, is this satin? Satin, white satin. Here we go. I mixed it pretty transparent-like. And I've got some burnt toffee and some deep amber. These are the so the white satin white is a pearl pigment, like a mica pigment, and these two uh, tanned burnt toffee and the deep amber are liquid pigments. And I've got some molten gold. So let's start. I might just start with a white, and I should have put it in a different cup because this one will leak for sure. And I've got this little thing. I can't remember what it was from. I told my daughter to keep it for me. I, I think it might have been from one of the kids' yogurt uh, satchels. I can't remember. So I thought I might just pour into that and just make it fun, you know. See what happens. You just never know. So here we go. This is the deep amber coming through quite a transparent one so and the white as well is a transparent it's nothing sort of wow this is pretty cool I'm just going nice and slow so you can see that transparent going underneath the white that is interesting to me I'm going to go with the gold now it's always good to alternate the uh, viscosity to make it interesting I'm not putting any more in there but I will go now with burnt with a sorry the yeah burnt toffee ah get in there and then I might go with a white again it's interesting so far interesting I, I have no clue how this will turn out this is just one of those pieces that you just don't know I can't believe I, pr I just put all this through and I was telling, I was, God, I didn't record any of it. Jeez, Louise. Anyway, good day, everybody. Welcome back. Now I have to repeat myself again. Oh, my goodness. So what I have here is a little gadget. I have no clue where it's from. Okay, so I was going to use a matte color, but you know what? I, I You probably can't see, but I... I really like this. It's so subtle and so interesting that I'm just going to go ahead and just use whatever I've got in here and just keep going. Because I like the combination of this pearl pigment with the liquid pigments. And look at that. And that's just by doing that. Same thing, different technique. So a different movement. Not just pouring it over the top, actually swirling. See, that's what you get. Let's do the gold now. Same sort of thing. And I'm going to have to get another little piece. It does make a difference. Any kind of movement you do, it makes a difference. Look at that. How cool is that? I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I don't care. I think it's going to turn out great anyway because I just love these colors together. And I didn't grease the pan, so I didn't apply any resin around here to help the flow. I'm just doing it on dry. And I will move this. It seemed to be pulling to one side, so I'll move it that way again. <coughs> okay, my, my uh, camera stopped a couple of times because... Um, it was full so there was you know it just kept 
playing up on me, so that's okay. Here we go. Get some more of that beautiful satin white. Just want to move it. I've lost that really pretty effect because see, it's it seems to be moving one way. Let's see if I can fix that. Hey, here we go. It's working now. That was my bad because I didn't have my holders. Wow, look at that. Let's just do this. See what happens if I just do this, hey? I like experimenting and doing interesting things. Let's go in with the gold again. It's all about the technique. Everything you do has to do with the technique, you know. And there's people out there that you name these techniques, they call them this and that, you know, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you do what you do and you remember how you did it, or if you video it even better because then it's recorded I don't know if you can see what I'm doing I don't know if you like what I'm doing it doesn't really matter because go that way again it's important that you like what you're doing I forgot the order in which I'm putting these I get a bit excited, just a little bit excited. Oh, that gold, so heavy, it just sinks to the bottom. I'm trying to get it to float a little bit, turn it into a floater. I love what I'm seeing here, I really do. And here we go, I don't like that particularly because it's moving now. But let's keep on going. Actually, I want to get the dark color now. I want to get some of this nice. I'm going to go the opposite direction and see if it actually does anything. And yes, it is. It is actually creating a different, different effect. See how that's going that way, and this is going different. Di di this way. Go with the white again. Actually, let's go with the uh, gold. It's going to be really interesting to see how it uh, actually turns out. This amber is such a pretty color. It's really, really nice. In fact, I might grab a a mold and just do something in the mold as well because I think I've got enough resin on this and I might have to lift it up without making a mess oh. Oh. but the thing keeps turning off I just used my, my blowtorch to create this really beautiful bubbly why does this happen on cool pieces? I don't understand. Anyway, I've got my heat gun now. I just want to open up these cells a bit. that if that stays like that I will be incredibly happy but this here what shall I do I might just go in with my white actually and see what I can see if I can create a little bit of a negative space just a bit of white there I don't have a lot left bit of white there and a bit of white there it's only a tiny little piece you know but you can put these pieces together and create a bigger piece you know you can make something really nice and funky so I'm happy with that just like that I'm just I'm just gonna tap it down all around love that satin white it's really pretty and creates some really pretty effects and we love effects don't we 
And that's pulling that way. But it, even so, oh my god, it's making like a um, an animal sort of pattern. I don't know. Like that. I'm gonna dip my finger in there, just make it a bit easier. Oh, pick some up. That's all good. All good in the hood. No worries. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Anywho, that is my piece. I am not, excuse me, before I say I'm not, I'm just gonna fix that bit there. And then I'm gonna say, I'm not touching it anymore. I'm gonna leave it as is, and I love it. And I didn't expect this whatsoever. And look at those drips down there. My God. And I can see that. That is looking so bloody beautiful. Anywho. I'm done. I'm done for this one. I might go grab um, a coaster. And use these gorgeous colours. Look at that amber. You can see the difference between the, the deep amber. And the burnt toffee. Which is like a. Oh it just looks like burnt toffee. And the gold and the beautiful satiny white. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I have no other words. Anyway, thank you for watching, lovely people. Uh, I love you and I will love you and leave you now until the next video. Bye.